I've decided for the purposes of this song, I want to resynthesize this TR-808 loop, and this is an audio loop, using the Alterbeat 808 kit that I've got instantiated on this audio instrument track. So to do that, I need to look a little bit closer at this loop. Let's just go ahead and zoom in on this one bar. So I'll press Control right arrow. That looks about good. Actually, I'm going to use these arrows over here so I can move in just smaller increments. Oops. Yeah, good. I guess I zoomed in a little bit too much. So there we go. Okay, and let's go and just zoom in a little further so we can see this waveform in detail. Let's uh, just play this loop and listen to what this 808 sounds like. So there's two kicks, one on the downbeat, one on the halfbeat. We've got a snare on the two, and this was a little hi-hat, which is on the halfbeat of the two, and so on. So I can go through and really easily resynthesize this drum loop. To do that, I'll use the Piano Roll Editor. If I go over to the left edge of the Piano Roll Editor, I can actually click keys to hear what sounds they make. If I click down here, ooh, I've got the big bass drum. So I need to input a kick drum on the one and beats. To do that, I'll use the pencil tool. And notice that I've actually got the pencil tool instantiated as my secondary tool. So in order to use it, I can just hold the command key and mouse over where I want to insert a note in the matrix editor, in this case on C1. So I'll click right here. There we go, a note right on the downbeat. There's also a note on the half beat. And if I go look through here, it kind of staggers its way back into the three and, and so well, let's reproduce that. So there's another one here. And this is pretty much our baseline. Let me go ahead and mute the drum loop and let's go ahead and let's listen to this. So you can hear I've got the rough timing of our kick. I also need to put a note in on the snare, which I believe is here. Yeah, so there's a snare on the two and the four. And again, I'll just hold command and use my pencil tool, my secondary tool. So here we go. Well, let's close down the piano roll editor for a second. I'll just unmute the regular beat and mute my new MIDI beat. Let's see what the difference is. There's a bit of difference. Let's listen to the MIDI. I still haven't done the hi-hat shuffle. I'll do that in a bit, but I notice the tuning is really off. Listen to the kick drum here. And listen to the kick in our original loop. Well, fortunately, I'm using Alter Beat. So if I open up Alter Beat and select my kick, I can now go and adjust the pitch. have to listen to that uh, compared to the original a couple more times because unlike some of you I don't have perfect pitch so here's the original that's getting pretty close that sounds good there's the original Well, I've managed to tune the kick drum so that it's pretty close to my original, and I'm happy with that. I still have to do a lot of work to make this MIDI loop sound like the audio. I have to program a bit more of the hi-hat shuffle and so on. But before we do that, let's move on and talk about a few more editing survival strategies using the Piano Roll Editor. 